Hey, welcome to Decent TNC. I am Jean Marie. Today we are going to continue the series of Terrazzo Pavement. If you have missed the previous video of an introduction of Terrazzo as building material, find the link below this video in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more educational tutorials on this channel. Let us continue with how to place Terrazzo paste in place. We have 10 steps of installing terrazzo pavement as follows. 1. Floor Preparation During this stage, installers will observe the following points. I. Signs of possible defects already existing within the floor surface. 2. Any cracks visible in the substrate floor. If cracks are present, an installer can use a flexible membrane to cover up any cracks to make sure no issues arise during and after the finished terrazzo installation. 3. Excessive moisture present. In case moisture levels are high, an installer can use a moisture mitigation system, which applies a thin layer on top of the substrate floor that prevents moisture from diffusing through the terrazzo floor once installed. 4. The leveling of the surface. If floors are uneven, an installer can apply a fill epoxy, which will level out the floor evenly for a nice smooth terrazzo finish. In order to place a terrazzo floor to an international standard, the preparation of the floor is paramount to the pavement. The concrete floor must be free from dust, free from impurities and not troweled to a smooth finish. It is optimum to sweep the concrete surface with a broom just before it sets to give a key to the terrazzo which in turn allows the terrazzo floor to adhere to the concrete floor. It is important that the concrete floor upon which the terrazzo will be placed is straight and flat and that there is an even thickness of 20 to 25 mm of terrazzo across the floor. After initial preparation has occurred, inspect the concrete for bug holes, voids, fins and other imperfections. Protrusions shall be ground smooth while voids shall be filled with general polymers system filler. 2. Design layout. The next step prior to pouring terrazzo is the design layout. Terrazzo is an art form that uses divider strips that serve to control expansion joints and separate multiple epoxy resin colors. Dividers strips can be coordinated to create complex design patterns or even the most amusing floor designs. Before commencing a pavement, one must look at what the space, room will be used for, color selection, and patterns, if suitable. It is a legislative requirement in wet areas that certain falls are required to assist any water to drain away into a floor grate, fixed by plumbers before the concrete process. In designing a pavement several types of marble chips may be chosen for size and hardness. 3. Mixing of chips and other material. Durazo is a combination of marble, glass or other decorative aggregates joined with either a cementitious or epoxy binder. Using the specified materials, an installer will mix the aggregates, epoxy resin, and epoxy hardener together to form a new terrazzo mix. Mixing of the chips, cement and color oxide must be batched precisely. The different sized aggregates must also be batched equally so the material is consistent throughout the finished product so that there are no patches of smaller aggregate in a particular place in the finished floor, nor any discrepancy in color. Mixing of material is done by a cement mixer on site. 4. Pouring. Installers will carefully pour terrazzo onto the surface, using a hand or power trowel to spread the mixture evenly. If different colors are used in the floor, all the same colored terrazzo is mixed, placed and finished. Other colored terrazzo is then mixed, placed and finished according to the design layout specified. This is so colors are not mixed into each other. In placing the terrazzo in situ care must be taken so that there is consistency in thickness, that is 20 to 25 millimeters throughout the floor. 
screeds are placed around the room with a cement finishing trowel and the terrazzo is placed as flat and as straight as possible. Allow for the terrazzo to cure before proceeding to the next step. 5. Placement of decorative patterns. Decorative patterns can be achieved using two methods. I. Brass angle placement. A brass angle is placed on the surface after the concrete has been placed and finished. The terrazzo is placed firstly into the brass strips, usually colored differently from the rest of the floor. The same process applies to this patterning as to the rest of the floor. 2. Webbing method. The webbing method is when one adheres other types of aggregates on a webbing designed for terrazzo and places the pattern into the web terrazzo. This pattern is placed wherever designed on the floor, then rolled, beaten and finished along with the rest of the terrazzo floor. 6. Seating. Seating is the process of placing aggregates of different color, size and type, which one wants to stand out from the finished pavement. Seating occurs immediately once the initial terrazzo has been placed. This is done by throwing the aggregates over the wet floor by hand. Seating highlights the effect of the finished pavement. 7. Rolling and beating. Once the terrazzo has been placed and seated, the floor is beaten with a wooden or magnesium float to make sure the aggregates are all embedded and surrounded by the matrix, the cement binder. Importance of rolling and beating. Rolling the pavement allows the cement, the binder, to fully coat all the aggregates so that they all bind together cohesively to a hardened state. This is important so that the aggregates do not dislodge from the floor when the process of polishing commences. 8. Grinding. Once the terrazzo is cured over 24 hours, installers can now grind the terrazzo using grinding machine utilizing diamond plated grinding pads rotating at fast speeds. Importance of grinding the terrazzo. To transform the floor from a rough to smooth texture. Once completed the entire floor look even, smooth, and radiant than before. To achieve brilliant and uniform surface. 9. Grouting. As follows, an installer will grout the terrazzo to cover any pinholes present in the surface. Importance of grouting. To get non-porous surface and to achieve even terrazzo surface. 10. Polish and sealing. Next, an installer polishes the terrazzo giving the surface a nice shine. To follow up, an installer will use a water-based solvent to seal the terrazzo floor, which gives the floor more radiance and extra protection. Terrazzo installation, when done properly will ensure that your floors come out flawlessly and can endure as long as you want it to. With proper maintenance and upkeep, your terrazzo installation will definitely be worth the cost of choosing it over all the other flooring systems. 2.2. Difference between epoxy terrazzo and cement terrazzo. There are two types of cast in situ terrazzo pavement. 1. Epoxy terrazzo. 2. Cement terrazzo. 1. Epoxy terrazzo. Epoxy terrazzo uses an epoxy matrix to bind the aggregates and is one of the best thin set systems. Benefits of epoxy terrazzo It has small thickness, because this system uses a resin composite, it has a rise of only 1 cm above the concrete slab. It's also lighter than other terrazzo systems. It has also a vast array of color and pattern possibilities, durability, and chemical resistance. 2. Cement Terrazzo Cement Terrazzo uses a cement matrix to bind the aggregates. Floors use a cement-based mix with the aggregate, chips, to form the terrazzo top. They are often thicker and heavier than an epoxy system. Benefits of Cement Terrazzo They offer a wide color palette. Create beautiful earthy tones and some can be used outdoors. 2.3. Perform smoothness of terrazzo. Once the terrazzo floor has cured, an installer will use a grinding machine to smooth out the floor. A grinding machine, often shortened to grinder, 
is any of various power tools or machine tools used for grinding, which is a type of machining using an abrasive wheel as the cutting and smoothing tool. Each grain of abrasive on the wheel's surface cuts a small chip from the workpiece via sheer deformation. The grinding tool is made up of abrasive grains and pores and exhibits an irregular distribution of cutting edges. 2.3.1 Functions of Grinding Level the surface. Bring out a shine in a surface. Bring out the high gloss to razo. Level of smoothness. 2.3.2 Factor affecting the quality of workpiece a surface is prepared by grinding process. 1. Type of grinding wheel. Grinding wheel with smaller grain size will provide a better surface finish, while material removal rate will be low. 2. Feed rate. Slower feed rate will provide the precise surface finishing. 3. Material of work piece. Material with much hardness will yield the precise surface finishing. 4. Grinding wheel condition. Damaged grinding wheel will never provide the quality surface finishing. 5. Quality of lubricant. Quality coolant and grinding process will reduce the power requirement of grinding machine as well as will provide a better quality of grinding also. 2.3.3 Methods of Grinding 1. Wet Method In the wet method, water is required to cool the diamond grits and cleaning the dust that is formed while grinding process. In this type of grinding, water works as lubricant simmers down the friction and elevates the life of polishing equipment, particularly the discs, which can melt due to high temperature. 2. Dry Method In dry grinding the tool is featured with a separate provision to retain the dust within a cover leaving no mess behind. You can use both types of grinding to get the finest and desired shine in the concrete. Initially you can try dry grinding and finally the wet process to clean and finish the floor completely.